Can anyone use HIV oral self-test kit? Hi, my name is Leslie Paul and today I'm going to be showing you how to use HIV oral quick self-test kit. Before we jump into the demonstration, I will share with you a few facts about the oral HIV self-test kit. Number one, it is convenient. Convenient in the sense that you can do this test at the comfort of your home or anywhere you feel comfortable. You don't need to go to the facility or any healthcare center to do this test. Number two, it is fast. Just about 20 minutes and your result is out. Number three, you don't need a blood sample to take this test. Unlike other test kits that you have to be pricked and you need the blood specimen for the effectiveness of the test kits. Oral test kits, like it says oral test kits, you don't need a blood sample. All you need to do is swap this test kit around your gum and then your result is out. Number four, it is valid. The test kit is clinically approved by the FDA and has been in use since 2004. Now that we know some basic facts about the oral HIV self-test kit, I will share with you some of the things we need to do before we take this test. Number one, don't eat, drink or use oral care products like toothpaste or mouthwash at least 30 minutes before using the test kit. Number two, find yourself a quiet place for at least 20 minutes to perform this test. Number three, make sure you have a timer set to perform this test. Number four, it might be helpful to have your phone close to you just in case you need to call a support person or a healthcare provider. So let's jump right into it. The reason why you click this video, the demonstration itself. So first thing, always check for the expiry date on the test kit. It should be somewhere around here. Yeah, here. It's on the test kit and please make sure you check for this expiry date at purchase where you buy it or where you've been given and this expires on the 31st of july 2020 which means it's very very valid so on both ends of the test kit is where you tear from as you can see there's an arrow here also here that's where you tear from and you tear like so actually pretty strong i hate strong things so here in this box we have the test kit itself and a buffer i'll tell you what that is in a few. we have a manual an instruction manual please make sure you read and we also have the stand for the buffer here inside the test kit this is this is what these are all we have in the test kit we have the manual in english and pigeon version we have the test kit and the buffer then we have the stand like i said earlier so the manual is very very descriptive on how to use this test kit and there are pictures here that can help guide you in using the test kit this is the english version and this is the pigeon version whichever one you like to use so yeah let's jump into this now here we have the test kit itself and we have the buffer which is a liquid that actually reads the test kit that actually reads the results of the test so like the test kit like the main box itself we also have two edges here that we tear from please be careful when you tear tear one edge at a time because we have two things in here so first you're bringing out the buffer then you put it on the stand like this okay you pop this open like this next it is the kit itself it looks like this please make sure you don't touch any of this part because this is what you're putting in your mouth to swap around your gum so all you have to do is swap this round your gum like so please don't chew it it's not edible then you drop it inside the buffer and you place it the buffer and then you place it set your timer like i mentioned earlier make sure your timer is ready on 20 minutes 
So once you drop the test kit into the buffer, you set your timer and wait for 20 minutes. And wait for 20 minutes for it to read. Please be patient. 20 minutes later. Also read the results. Here we have three different results on the oral self test kits. We have non-reactive, reactive and invalid. Key notes, I use the word non-reactive and reactive in place of positive and negative. Why? Because for non-reactive, this either shows that you are testing negative or you are within your window period. Now what is window period? Window period is a time where the virus is not visible yet on the test kit. So now for non-reactive, it looks like this. As you can see, we have two sides on the test kit. We have the control and the test. You can see there's a line on the control side which shows that this test kit is working and there's no line on the test side written C, which means that this is non-reactive or negative. For the invalid, there is nothing here. Now you can either get nothing or get a line on the test side not on the control side. Like I said earlier, there should be a line on the control side to show that this kit is working, not on the test side. It's, you either have one line on the control side or you have both lines here. But when you don't have a li any line here at all or a line on the test side, it means that there's something going on with the test kit. It's either it's expired or the test was not conducted properly. So you have to get on that test kit to test yourself. Let's move to reactive. As you can see, we have two lines here on this control side and the test side. This shows that this is a, rea this is a reactive result. Now, for people who test reactive, why well, we don't call it positive is because this result is sensitive but not specific. Reason being that it can pick the infection that you might be having at the time. So, to confirm the HIV result, you need to do a confirmation test with another test kit to confirm the HIV result, which is a more specific test kit. Now that we've read our results, what next? What do we need to do? For clients who are non-reactive, we advise that you take another test within two to three months to ascertain your HIV status. This is to confirm that you are not within your window period as at the time you took the test. Once you confirm that you are HIV negative, we advise that you practice safe sex with the use of condom and PrEP. PrEP is pre-exposure prophylaxis, a HIV preventive medication. For reactive clients, we advise that you visit healthcare facilities that offer HIV testing services. Here at ICA, we offer free HIV counseling, testing and treatment services. After the post-test counseling, the clients will be placed on antiretroviral medications which will help them in living a healthy, positive life. I hope you enjoyed this video and you are now confident about taking this test in the comfort of your home. This oral HIV self-test kit is actually free here at ICA. If you would like to get one or have any questions about HIV services or other services that we render here at ICA, please call the number on your screen. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share this video and leave a comment. We would love to hear from you. Bye.